What's that? I don't know. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> awesome. I have this problem where if I drink any wine at all, I get a massive headache. I had one glass last night and I barely slept at all. Today we're going to talk about music. Alright, so what is music? So, according to Wikipedia, music is an art form and cultural activity whose medium is sound and silence. So not that noise right there, that, that's, I don't know, that might be music, I have no idea. Now the definition of music varies from culture to culture, society to society, country to country, person to person, whatever, blah blah blah. But basically in a nutshell, it's sound hitting your ears and rhythm. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. It's four, four, it's four, four, very simple. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. There's also 3-4, which is slightly different. Three beats in a measure instead of four. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, instead of one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, which is usually party starting music. And well, that's almost all music is 4-4. Four, 3-4, four. Four. there's also really crazy times out there that I'm not gonna bore you with. That get very complex. But in a nutshell, that's what timing is. That get very complex. Very complex. A huge reason why I started this vlog in the first place was to promote my music. That's why in every single episode, it's my music playing in the background. I've been a musician for quite some time now. It is very difficult. Um, you have to have the utmost confidence in yourself, even when everyone else tells you it cannot be done. And for most of us, it won't be done. You know, whatever it is. You won't become very successful or famous. Famous. In my mind, that's not the definition of success. Success in music, to me, is finishing a project. Setting a goal, finishing it. When I set out to make my first album, Cherry Street. I'm driving down the 21 Cherry Street. That was exactly what I had in mind. I wasn't worried about it being perfect. I was just worried about it being done. Did I make any money off of that album? No. Did people enjoy it? Yes. Mission accomplished. When I got to my second album, which just recently came out, and it's called Layla the American Dream. Live in the American Dream. Hey! I pushed myself a little farther. I wanted the content of the album to be interesting, meaning the lyrics, the instruments. I wanted every note to be important, every lyric to be important. I focused much more on the musicianship than the production. Did I accomplish that goal? Bet your ass. Did people enjoy the album? You bet your ass. Am I making money off of it? No way. Does that bother me? Maybe a little. I set out my goal. I finished my goal. Next goal. Play in front of a thousand people. I did that several years back. Finished that goal. Next goal. Get on the radio. Now that is my exciting news for today. I just got word from a local radio station. W. APL, and I'm going to be played on their home brood, which is Saturday mornings at 9 o'clock. I'm going to be on APL. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I did it the old fashioned way. Sent him one of the CDs in the mail with a little note. Please play my music. Here's a little backstory. Here's a little backstory on the album. They got back to me pretty quickly. Said they loved it. I'm going to be on the radio. So thank you very much, WAPL. Now that's how you get it done. That's one of the things about being a musician these days. You have to be extremely versatile. You cannot just be a musician. You can't just play and, and sing and expect people to love it. You have to be a internet wizard. You have to social network your ding dong off. 
um, you have to force yourself into people's lives kind of and it, it feels a bit like you're just being annoying at, at times but you just have to stick with it it's the only way to do it um, now that's also a good thing about modern day uh, musicians because I can post all of my gigs on Facebook for free I can make videos for free put them on YouTube for free I can basically promote myself for free whereas a while ago you'd have to have a, uh, a label you'd have to uh, depend on them to do all that stuff for you um, but now you can you can do it yourself I've been playing the drums since I was a little kid but I actually started writing music and playing guitar in high school and uh, I wrote some horrible songs and some okay songs and well one okay song and, and about a hundred horrible songs um, I, I did the same thing in college, continued uh, playing more guitar in college and writing uh, some pretty horrible songs and, and uh, you know, having some beers, playing with friends and stuff like that. Uh, I've got a couple singer friends that I used to play with. And uh, it was just a lot of experimentation, uh, trying to do something new, trying to do something original. And then uh, once I got to out of college, um, I took about a three-year hiatus from the music and I was a art teacher because that's what I went to college for and uh, so I was an art teacher here in Green Bay for about three years and then after that I moved out to Los Angeles to become uh, a musician out there I started taking it seriously at that point and uh, I started writing some better songs when I was out in LA and eventually met a band from London Graffiti Six and I, I got to tour around the country with them. Seeing those guys play music just sort of made me realize that it's possible, anyone can do it. If you have the talent, if you have the work ethic, it can get done. Um, so when I moved back to Green Bay, after three years out in Los Angeles, I basically set that goal for myself to never have my own boss ever again, to push myself harder than, than anybody else would, to not say no to any gigs, to anything. Um, and let me tell you, I have played some horrible gigs. Slowly perfecting my craft over the years, that's pretty much what it's all about. You just want to get better. I guess that's what life is all about. And I'm back in my car and off to St. Brennan's for St. Patty's Day. It's one of the only Irish pubs in Green Bay and they have a fantastic band playing today, The Chocolatiers. So I went out yesterday for St. Patrick's Day, recorded a bunch of stuff, Recorded two bands playing at St. Brennan's, the Raglanders, and the Chocolatiers. I had all this awesome footage to show you guys, and I imported it last night to my Final Cut Pro X, which is my editing software. And today I went to go and edit it, and it says that all the files are missing. So I don't have any footage to show you guys. It all got erased because of this software that I use. Just deleted some of it. I mean, I guess I'm glad it didn't delete all of it, but it deleted the whole second half of my vlog, which was the entertaining part of it. I guess the vlog is just gonna end right here. I can't believe this. Look at all these videos. Look at all these videos that got deleted. Oh my gosh. Oh man. This is my explanation of what happened. Vlogging is very fun, but when stuff like this happens, it's so frustrating. Ah! Click on the subscribe button. Do it. Click on it. Go ahead. Try it. Click on the button.